I met Tood March 2019 at a con when I bought a pink fursuit from them for $200 PayPal and $100 cash. I was 16 at the time since my birthday is in late August. Tood and I had a fight August 2019. I blocked them after they called me names and treated me subhuman. The reason they had done this was because they said I had robot followers. I have screenshots to prove this, which I will share later. I didn't have bot followers, but not long before that on my alternative account, I had been doing follow for follow, but stopped when I moved accounts due to realizing it didn't help grow accounts. I moved accounts due to getting into a fight with someone over something stupid, and I acted poorly in that scenario, I do admit. But during that fight, Tood and their significant other acted worse than I had because they commented on the person's post to kill themselves. I do not have proof of this though, I just remember it happening, so it's okay if you do not believe me. I do however have proof of Tood wishing the person would die, which I will share later in this video. Since the incident I caused, I have completely stopped making the wares, except for this one, since I think Tood needs to be exposed for their constant lies and because they said they would take down their beware if I changed my post, and they haven't taken it down, despite me having literally deleted my post. They made a beware about me because I did an honest review on the pink fursuit I was selling that they had made. What I made wasn't a beware or slander, nor did I call them a scammer, but Tood took it as such and made a huge beware about me that was full of nothing but lies and told their following to come and harass me about being a scammer. This is my response video and includes as much proof against them as I could get, both with this incident and others they have done. First, I will start off by sharing my review, which they had also screenshotted and included in their story. Selling this suit made by Tutuwoo. I haven't ever worn it except once because it's absolutely awful in quality and falls apart. Almost all the seams are glued, the eyes are paper, it's unlined, and the paws have been falling apart constantly since I got it. I lost the other paw as well. I bought them for $300 and I'll include character rights and a new pair of paws I make if you buy it. So I'm going to price it at $350 due to the art added and the new paws added. The paws will be made for the buyer and be their size so I don't have them made yet. DM me if you're interested. I will also accept almost any kind of trade, even if it's just fur or a head base, as long as I think it has equal value. Honestly, I just want this gone. As you can clearly tell, the review wasn't a beware. I really only made it that in depth so the new owner wouldn't claim I scammed them when they got it. When I bought the suit in 2019, despite buying it at a con, I was unaware of how badly it was made. I didn't notice the eyes were paper until a while later. I also wasn't aware that it was a used fursuit and thought it was a pre-made made to sell at the con back when I bought it, but later found out it was used from Toots Instagram pictures of them wearing it to a con. This was the first time I've ever seen a fursuit in person that wasn't made by myself, so I had no idea that the way it was made wasn't a very good way. The first time I really wore it while I was in my own house doing a video nonetheless, the stuffing fell out of the finger part of the paw pads and I had to sew it back. When I said I wore it once in the review, I meant I wore it to one con. Even in the review and comments, despite the things Tood did unprofessionally, I never called them a scammer. Tood added in their beware of me being a scammer that I wore it multiple times, yet I have an explanation for every image they tried to use to prove that I did. The first image provided was for a 30 second TikTok. I really wouldn't consider it wear and tear enough to put in a for sale listing. The second image was when I tried it on it before I bought it, and I took the picture to send to my dad to convince him to give me the extra $200 on PayPal to buy it, and then I put King's fursuit back on. Here is proof of me in the same outfit at that same con hardly 10 minutes later with King's suit back on, standing next to Tude. The third photo they shared isn't even me wearing it. I'm wearing the white fursuit, which is my fursona king. Now on to the rest of the beware that I'm going to be debunking. On image number one, they claim to have not glued any seams on the pink fursuit. Here is video evidence I have made proving that they have. Here is proof that Tood has glued seams right here. This ear is clearly just glued right there. The entire back of the head wasn't even sewn on. This entire piece of hair actually isn't sewn anywhere. Um, it's not even sewn on the front here. Uh, mouth, mouth is glued. There's a few things that, that are sewn, but most of it isn't. The mouth is glued. 
um, this piece right here. This part is glued. This part isn't, but this part is. This other ear is also glued. This part was sewn, but it was sewn pretty poorly. You can see the seams pretty well. Uh, back of the ears aren't aren't sewn to the hair either. And there's just this big hole here if it'll load. There we go. Pretty much most of this is just glued. They claim the eyes aren't paper and tell people to go and harass me for calling them a scammer, which I never even did. They also say the fursuit came with a fursuit prop, but it came with a pair of blue glasses fit for a human, which you can buy at Dollar General for about $4 during summer. I've only ever went to two fur meets ever, and only two cons with them, which I wore King at both cons, and wore Shiloh at one fur meet with Tude, and King at another. I did bring the pink fursuit to a meet, which is what I considered the time I wore it to a con in the review, but I brought it to the meet to meet them in it. I switched over to King because the pink one was falling apart. And here is some video proof of the eyes being paper and the blue glasses size. They claimed that the eyes weren't paper. Here, I'll get real close, I'll scratch them for you. You can hear that. And I also have some water here, which I'll put on there, and I'll just scratch this a little bit. As y'all know, uh, paper is not waterproof. You can, yeah, you can see it. That pinks from my fingers, but you can see it all falling apart and stuff because you know it's paper. Here's these blue glasses that they claim are a fursuit prop. They definitely got these from Dollar General. They're not even remotely sized for a fursuit. And I'll put this fursuit front front facing so you can tell. And this is a pretty small fursuit as well and look, literally touching. Not fursuit prop. Definitely just a pair of human large goofy glasses that they're calling a fursuit prop. They claimed I bought the suit for $250, which wasn't true. They DM my friend saying I bought the suit for $250, $100 cash, and $150 PayPal. But I have proof of a $200 PayPal transaction, and I know I gave them $100 a person. Now for image 6 and 3. Here is more video proof of glued paw pads. They say that the paws here weren't glued. Um, the fingers were sewn, but they were sewn, sewn very badly, and they've fallen apart. This is the second paw that's fallen apart. The other paw also fell apart. Um, I've also lost it, so I don't have proof of that anymore. And they said that this part wasn't glued, but it clearly is. There's not even, it's not even sewn to the base, and you can hear it, like, you can hear that hard, hard glue. You can see it. Plus, here's proof when I literally came to them about the paws falling apart, and they acted all surprised. Of course I fixed them myself because it was really easy, but this is the first time the paws broke. The image I shared in my initial review is actually the other paw and the second time. Image number 4. The age is wrong on there, but I didn't initially know due to it being an old account and me reusing it. I had the account set 2 years older than me because I made the account back when I was 16. Anyone who's had an account with the on Facebook with the age below 18 knows how many restrictions there are for it. So I had made the account at 80, 18. I am 18 now though, and I have an ID to prove it, which I will show right now. I fixed my age on that Facebook page now to show my actual birthday. Tude just wanted to share false information about me to make more people hate me. Image number five. Tude is offended that I called them a borderline pedo, which they are, and they said that I called them a pedo, but I actually called them a borderline pedo, and that's because they've done borderline pedo things. Tudewoo drew porn when I met them, and they were only 17. I don't have proof of this, however, I do have proof of them and their significant other getting porn and lewd images from two people who were under 18 after both of them had turned 18. 
one of which, Mr. Master Demon, they later made a beware on for drawing not safe for work under 18, despite Toot having done the same thing and their significant other Quinn praising them for the lewd type image that they drew for them. Here is the beware Toot made on Mr. Master Demon long after they praised Mr. Master Demon for the not safe for work they drew. I knew both Toot and Master in real life, and Master had been drawing lewd and not safe for work images back when I met them as well as Toot. I didn't make you beware or confront either over it because I really didn't care enough to ruin my friendship with them at the time. Master Demon is younger than me as well. I'm not sure how much younger, but I'm pretty sure they were still 16 after I turned 17 in August 2019. As you can tell in the Beware, Toot is milking that share and retweet, and that is because Toot makes Bewares for clout and not to help warn people. They shouldn't have made this beware in the first place because Mr. Master Demon is was open about being a minor who drew not safe for work, and by making that beware, they were just endangering them. No one would end up commissioning Mr. Master Demon for not safe for work because Master Demon was openly a minor. Now that I am through with my direct response about what they said to me, let's go on to the other things they have done. Here's proof of them attacking me over bots, even though they claim they were no longer friends with me due to the drama I started on my old account when they made their new beware. They also claimed I faked my death, which I did not. Plus, the drama that happened happened way back in July 2019. I was 16. I'm 18 now. They kept contact with me all the way until I ended up turning 17. They kept contact with me a decent amount of time after the drama I caused and I had turned 17 before they cut me out of their life and I blocked them. You can pause if you would like to read any of this, but it's too much for me to read out, so I will just put them all in order one by one here. Here is proof of Tude telling me that they hope the person I was in a fight with dies. This is the same person they told to kill themselves and the same person they said I harassed and was one of the reasons that they cut ties with me. In the image they sent me, this is actually an alt account they had to go to because the person had blocked them the first time they went after them. A week before they cut ties with me, we had a conversation over art style theft and they thought it was real. I also found this beware that they made on someone for stealing their character even though their own character is almost exactly the same as Happy Uwu's character and they even copied Happy Uwu's name and called themselves Toot Uwu. Toot told me Happy Uwu was aware and okay with Toot's character, however, so don't go and spam Happy to death. I'm not defending the art thief here, by the way. I'm just pointing out Toot's straight up hypocrisy since their character looks more like Happy's character than the character Theft's character looks like Toot's character. Tood also once made a beware on someone for changing a suit they bought from Tood without asking first, despite that not even being in their terms of service at the time. I don't have a lot of screenshots from that though because it was super long ago, but I do have two. This suit was also made right after I got the pink one, and you can tell the quality isn't very good despite the small edit that the new owner has made. You can tell the teeth are glued in and the seams around the mouth aren't sewn and the eyebrows are glued on pieces of fleece. The beware was made late September 2019. During the argument with Tood about my review, despite them knowing my preferred pronouns and being trans themselves, they misgendered me publicly. I also have screenshotted proof of this. A few hours prior, they posted a screenshot of my account with my bio clearly visible and it also had my pronouns also clearly visible so I know that they knew. Plus, I told them before we cut ties back when, back when we were still friends. Tutuwu also had a firm meet during a pandemic, and not a small one. At least 18 people attended, which you can see in the photo they posted. Tutu clearly cares more about people being popular than about anyone else's safety or health. They turned off comments due to people pointing out their awful idea. I don't know why they thought they would get away with the blatant lying about the suit and me being a scammer when I literally have tons of solid evidence including the suit. Judge this beware as you wish, but if you are here to comment rude things, I'm just blocking you. Asking a question in support of Tood isn't rude by the way, as long as you keep an open mind to how I answer. But just saying I'm lying without any proof whatsoever and trying to fight regardless of anything I give you supporting my decision, I am just going to block you because I have no interest in wasting my time arguing with someone who has no interest in changing their mind. So this is the end of the beware. Have a good day. 
unless you're Tood, then probably get off the internet. <laughs> Bye.